Hey, what is up heroes and welcome back to some more Pokemon Imperium. Last episode, we worked with Hessa to rescue her little Pichu. The signal group are actually evil and they've been um, kidnapping lots of electric Pokemon to power the whole region, forcefully against their will, which is which is very bad. So we went in, trying to rescue the little Pichu, found the gym leader, battled him at his full strength, destroyed him. However, some dude came in and was like, yo, you know too much, and he erased our memory, which was pretty bad, but luckily the little Pichu managed to escape on its own and got reunited with Hessa, so she's gone to be a Pokemon trainer now, which is awesome, and her grandmother gave us like an amber pendant to give to her when we see her, don't know when that's going to be, but Moira was like, in the little um, you know, desert area here, there's some cool ruins where some powerful Pokemon are, and you can see she's about to get attacked by what looks like, I was say like a Rapidash a little bit, but it's probably another mutated Pokemon like we battled before, so get ready for another battle, oh it's getting closer. So, oh, stop, Voltsy, oh no, Moira, you look different, I dragged you into this, this berserk Pokemon, it attacked me, I fought back, but all my Pokemon except Trico are already, wait, didn't you have a Sceptile now, not a Trico, but, I'm sorry, I weren't strong enough, uh, that's okay, don't worry, you'll get stronger, but we have to deal with this thing somehow first, Voltsy, you are, uh oh, what is this pressure? Oh, I can't release my poke. Oh. Wait! Oh. Scamper, you foul beast! Professor Rocksworth? Uh, what is that intense smell? A perfume? Ha! <laughs> this is not a perfume, kid. It's an incense. Sask incense. If you'd like to know the specifics, I can tell you all about it. But all you really have to know is that its main component is extracted from a male saw bug. Uh, my interest is suddenly waned. <laughs> Whoa! What do you think you're going, beast? Have a little whiff of this. Hiya! You know what? I quite like Professor Roxworth now. Oh. And it's gone. <laughs> wow. How'd you scare it off, mister? It's Professor Roxworth. Nice to meet you. Just Roxworth is fine as well. Are you alright, Moira? Yeah, don't worry about me. Uh, what is that scent? Oh well, I better steal this incense before things happen. It's um, <laughs> Voltsy? Uh, I'm fine. <laughs> Thanks a lot for coming to the rescue, Professor. It's nothing. It's my pleasure to help those in trouble. But now that we're in the clear, I must say, the ruins look more mysterious with every passing day. <laughs> I'm glad to be visiting them again. There's much to investigate still. Voltsy, I don't know what all of this means. Uh, that was another one of those Pokemon. Let's talk at the Canyon Resort rather than here. This place gives me the creeps. I really need a refreshment. And a fresh pair of clothes. Well anyway, uh, let's meet at the resort then. It's the house right next to the balloon ride in the Canyon Pass. Okay. Sounds good. Can we speak to the professor first though? Maybe he can tell us some stuff. Oh yes, hello there. I'll be here for a while, searching for clues. If I don't ask me anything, just shoot. So... The symbol? Ah, funny you should mention that, the symbol. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> In the archaeological circles, we call the symbol the lotus. Doesn't hold any meaning per se, uh, it's just our handle of it. <laughs> the lotus, however, seems to occur for our ancient carvings, mostly those pre-4000 years ago. Now, I can't say for certain, but it is believed to be associated with Zalos, the primordial king. Oh! Some say it's a sigil, others hold that it... Others hold that it is merely used as a recognisable symbol on the golden coins of the Imperian Kingdom. Okay. Interestingly, um, even though we have no records of the Imperian Kingdom, spreading as far north as Mount Mesmer, this symbol seems to occur in Mesmer City as well, in, in its Star Temple. That you remind me of it, I have a brand new mystery to uncover. <laughs> okay, um, the Berserk Pokemon. That beast? Ah yes, I met a beast like that once. It was a long time ago, but I remember it well. No matter what people did, they could not calm it. it would have rampaged and wreaked uh, havoc until it fainted. Luckily, a then young man by the name of Samuel Roxworth had a little receptacle of a sudden incense with him. Funny lad that he was, uh, he opened the cask and sprayed the incense. Right into the bee's abominable nostrils, I've never, I mean, he never saw any other living thing run away as fast as and confused as that beast that day. <laughs> Okay, the incense. Uh, do I really want to know where it's from, though? 
Kid, when I was your age, a handsome lad with blonde locks and a growl up by his side, I'd travelled the regions far and wide, met many people, many ladies, ate foods that you've never heard of, slept under the sun and the treetops, and most importantly, fought great Pokemon battles and had many victories. If only you'd seen me. <laughs> Somewhere around the time I was at the end of my first Pokemon journey, a strange lady invited me to her tent. She offered me some fortune telling. Now nah, I couldn't say no, could I? Her tent had smelled of a certain invigorating aroma. I asked her what it was, and after a bit of negotiation, she told me the secret. It was, she said, an incense made with a uh, secretion, secretion from a certain exotic Pokemon from a far, far away region. From then on, I just had to get my hands on more of that stuff. It was eminently uh, celebrious. Okay, so if you ever find yourself in need, at the right time and place, there's a Sawbuck uh, farm not from Celine City. Truth be told, I heard it's a whole industry there. Never been there myself though. What about your fortune? Oh, I remember the fortune lady after we had a nice chat about the incense you see. Finally sat down to foretell my future opulences in a quite swift manner. She foretold that I would one day uncover a, how'd she call it, a uh, ruminant once belonging to a god of value unmeasurable to man. That's why I came to the fascination of becoming what I am today, in fact. Okay, that's it. This dude seems, he's, he's a really interesting character. I hope this isn't the last we see of uh, Professor Roxworth, because he's a pretty swell dude. Ooh, a mini or He's gonna not run away. See, you can't run away from a mini or Boy, there you go. Let's just pop a repel. Got one left. And we can get to uh, the next place. Where are we actually going? Map. So we're on Route 105. Got uh, Celine City, which we can go to the uh, Sawbuck farm if we want. Route 106. And I guess that's not in the game yet because it's not. Oh, wait, no, that's Ostra City. Okay, so maybe we can go? Just that hasn't got a name there. And that's Highway 1, Road to Mount Mesmer. Mesmer Town. Okay. Well, I know this uh, Alpha only has currently... Which way do I go out, go out of here? Yeah, it's this way, isn't it? Five gyms, and we have four gym badges, so this next town could potentially have the last gym badge, but I'm hoping there's a little bit of like story content to do after it. But we'll see. We will see. Right, almost out. Not Cacnea. Go away, boy. Right, back to Route 105. If we jump down... Oh, we can't jump down there? Okay, it's fine. We jump back. Go back to the bridge. Go underneath the bridge, and then we can get across. There might be a few trainers we need to battle. But I think we might be alright, to be fair. Oh, the desert's a lot bigger than I thought, to be honest. There's a lot to explore still. Um... Go up to the bridge. Let's go do that. Oh, there's a mega stone there. Wait, how do you get them? Oh, you gotta go through the little uh, puzzle here. So, let's do this. So, if we go onto that, jump down. Got that. Super potion. Nice. And we want to get this mega stone. So, I'm assuming we just go. Nope. Oh, that was easy. For Blaziken. Okay. Don't have a Blaziken, which is unfortunate. So the way up is blocked, but maybe we can go... Can't jump across that way, okay. Back the way we came. Which is... Nope. Like that, there you go. Did not mean to do that. Unless we can jump over? No, that's way too big a jump. Alright, so let's go down. Maybe the power glove could smash through it, I don't know, but I feel like we have to go through this cave here. Cave of Tranquility. Sorry, Bowtor, I just want to run away from you. Can we smash these? No, I need a certain mechanism. Right, okay. So... My question is, we need a certain mechanism to get past, 
So what if we need to go a different way? I go left a little bit. So let's jump across. And then go like this. Aha! Oh, we'll go across this. There we go. We got it. But again, you need a mechanism. We can't jump down, like... Where does one get this mechanism from, then? I feel like we might miss something. There's something down there in the bottom right, so go check that out. Right, so if we go down here... What's this? Oh! Okay, a stone barrier has sunk somewhere. Right, okay. So there's many different places we can go now. Oh, no more, um... You got fire blast? Oh, damn, son. Okay. Uh, let's go sketch. Give some thunder bolts, which does nothing. Wow. Okay. Okay, this is bad. Um, cast home, you can just take a close combat. See ya. Being a pain in the butt, boy. Been a massive pain in the butt. A torque is going to go close combat. Iron defense, okay. All good. All good. Right, so. Something has moved. It's not that way. Potentially this way? I see another stone thing there, so I'm guessing we have to go and get to that one. Oh, wait, I think we can go this way now, yeah. So then we hit this. Okay, and I'm guessing this the one. Turn around, there you go. Just here. Grab that item. Everstone, ooh. You know what, for now that's actually not bad. Because I can give that to... Kalia. Stop him trying to evolve into Gardevoir all the time. So I can do a bit of switch training with you in a little bit, which would be nice. Uh, I guess we could... We've got so many different ways we can go. Wait, this leads back here. There's more... No, we hit that. No, yeah, there's another one there. There's more of these uh, switches. So I guess we just got to get the right switch, but how do we... Oh, okay, so we have to go across. So we go like so. Hit this. So where did this sink? Didn't sink that. Um, just got to try and find some more. Let's go around here. So maybe it sunk one inside the cave of tranquility. Y yeah, it did. Good. Good for here now. Okay. Making progress. And we've got a nice strength puzzle. I could push that all the way to the bottom. Right. Do I want to do that? I think I might want to do that. And then I push this across, this down. I can push that across and get across what's down this way. Ooh. Okay. Hi, lady. I don't know what you're doing down here, but... Oh, probably shouldn't break these pots. Okay. <laughs> I want to break all the pots get some free stuff. Oh, a trainer. You probably want me to activate the mechanism that moves that last stone barrier for you. Yes, please. Ah, perfect. I'll open them for you, but would you do an old bat a, a favour first? My smiggles have scurried off into the desert. Oh, dear. What am I to do? There's four of them. Please bring them to me. Shouldn't have gone further than Route 105. Oh, Arceus. Hope they didn't wander off into the uh, the ruins. Oh, okay. Probably have gone to the ruins, to be fair. Oh. Oh, I'm going to say yes. Okay, that's really good. Let's give that to uh, Infernape. Do a bit more damage with some fire attacks. Oh, wait. Uh, give that to Chase. That'll help. All right, before we go to route... Well, back to Route 105 and the ruins to find the Smeagol, let's go up here. 
These two are TM, got Steel Wing, nice. Okay. So, let's go find this lady's uh, Smeagol, and then we can go to the next town. Right. No idea where to begin, but... Keep forgetting you can't go that way. Let the hunt begin. I'm assuming we'll just see him just chilling. Oh, there's, yeah, that's it. It's chilling in the overworld, and you can just you can see one there. Maybe it won't be as hard to find these as I thought. So that's one. Oh, lady, please don't battle me. No! I don't want to battle. I'm quite weak. That's fine. I guess we'll do this. Dragon dance. Oh, that's fine. Followed by... Oh, probably a good idea if we just... Probably switch, but... Uh, let's go chase. Snap out of confusion. That's annoying, but it's, it's all good. We missed a rock slide. Come on, boy. Got flinched. Just land the rock slide. There we go. And we'll stay in just so we can get the XP and take you out really quick. It's so close to 44. Oh, it resets us every time. Okay, brought back my health snow. Thank you, dear. There's three more to go. Wait, is it item there? Do we get like a new item every time? Is it just me? Escape rope, okay. Um I want to push this. Yeah, down across. Don't really want to waste an escape rope when I can just run out, you know. Kinda of wish I had more repels, that's the only thing I wish I had now. Alright, I can't see under the bridge, so I doubt it's under the bridge. There's another one, so I know exactly how to get there. That's just going back towards the ruins. Make sure he's not in this corner down here. Oh, there's one here. Sweet. Got fresh water, thank you. Two more to go. Well, we know where one of them is, so we just need to find one more dude. And I'm guessing he's probably going to be in the ruins. Ooh, a shiny... Oh, that shiny looks really nice. Is that what an actual shiny bow toy looks like, or is that just custom to this game? Because that looked really nice. Makes me kind of want a shiny hunter bow toy a little bit. Right. Oh, dude. How much I wish I wish I had repels right now. Just ah, uh, you can never imagine. Right. So let's go back. It's like when you want to do something or you need to run somewhere, you know, you've got a while to go and you don't have repels. It's just so, like every encounter is just super annoying. Because you're just like, you're holding me back. So I don't mind battling, but I'm weak right now. And I know exactly what I want to do, I need to do. And you're just stopping me from doing it. And it's super annoying. Ooh, Tyrant. That's cool. Right. Let's grab this bad boy. My, my. Uh, Marion adores you. Now I just hope she hasn't wandered off into the cursed ruins. No, no, I can feel him somewhere near. It's got to be sleeping in the secret cavern again. The secret cavern again, is this? Where's the secret cavern? So it's not in the ruins then. He's somewhere near. Right. So let's run back this way where are you hiding boy where are you hiding can I just jump down no I can't all right let's go down I battled all the trainers around here so I should be fine let's go down here Smiggle, where you at? That was a Pokeball that I missed. I don't know exactly how to get it. Looks like up this way. Aha! Oh, but I never battled you. Didn't realize I missed that, my bad. I'm starting to think he might be in the ruins, because I... This isn't, isn't this the end of Route 105 going down, so I don't know where the secret ruins are, and then we got to go exploring. I haven't seen no secret ruins, though. Go on, hurt yourself, hurt yourself. Yes! Oh, that's so lucky. 
Okay, so let's grab this. We got a Stardust. Wish you could jump down though. Uh, so we gotta go this way. Check the le left side real quick, just in case he's chilling. Not around here, are you? No, you are not. Yes, he's gotta be. He's gotta be in the ruins then. Unless you meant like not in in the ruins, but in the general area, like where we saw the rapid ash, it's, it's got to be in there, surely. All right, so we just go across. Okay. Not up there. That's where I start looking for hours trying to find this dude and can't find him. Come on, boy, where are you? I don't think I saw Professor Roxworth on top of the thing again, so... Oh, there, yeah, he's still there. So there's got to be some secret... He's definitely not around here, so there's some secret, um... Cave I haven't been to then. Which he should be in. Unless we go speak to Roxworth and just ask if he's seen the Smeagol. Because... I don't know where it is. Yo, have you seen it? No. Alright, I'm going to cut to when I find the Smeagol because I have absolutely no idea where it is. Alright, so I found this secret cave. You can just make it out. It's underneath the bridge. Um, I, I thought maybe like the secret cave would be like in this corner. I just about to give up. I accidentally walked up, up a bit too much. I was like, oh, there it is. Okay, I'm going to rob you first. Wake up. All right. My, my, that's all of them. As I promised, I'll open the gates for you. Dear Trina. Oh, I completely forgot uh, Nickel isn't here either. Never mind, dear. I'll remove the barrier as promised. But if you do see my dear Nickel, please send him my way. Okay, I will. Um, I don't know where this nickel guy would be, but if we see him, we're, we're definitely, you know, bring him back. But I have no idea. Maybe we'll see him on the way or something, I don't know. Might just pop up. Right, so we can just walk around. Hey, Canyon Pass. Oh, it's very quiet here. Uh, yeah, what up, dude? Ah, what a vista. Oh, wow, really high up, didn't realise. Uh, my birds are delighted with this place, and so am I. What's that? You'd like to challenge my strongest bird to a battle? No, 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 not right now. If I can get healed up, then, oh, yeah, I'll be 100% taking you on, but let's go check this house out first. We might get healed up in here. Yes! We get healed up. Excellent. What is... There's a lot of people to talk to here. There's Moira. Hi, Volti. Glad you made it. This is a pretty nice place to rest, don't you think? Yeah. Don't plan on staying here for long, however. Going back to Route 105 to train. You're taking this seriously. I should probably train too. I have a nasty feeling about that Berserk Pokemon. Yeah, me too, Volti. It really reminded me of the one we met at Shamonk Lake. And it wasn't pleasant. Where did they even come from? They don't look nor act like regular Pokemon. No, far from it. It's very disturbing. Blitz would probably say right now, All you need is strength. And I guess that's true when it comes to these Pokemon. Oh, <laughs> strength and friends. <laughs> nah, just strength. Nah, of course, yeah. I'm glad you think so, Volty. Good. I should be going now. I'll see you soon, Volty. Let's meet at the highest point of the region next time. Mount Mesmer. It's a deal. Alright, see ya. Okay, let's go talk to everyone here and just nah. <laughs> And uh, to be, oh, to be implemented, okay. Darwin, listen to me. Put that thing down. Oh, he's talking to Dan, I think. Such a lovely view. Too bad I won't see it ever again. Oh. Okay. Now, now, fellas, don't back, on out, back, back out on us. Okay. 
Don't know about this plan. How much did you say you were paying? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's right. Look for them across Night Square in Silent City. Alright, okay. Uh, have you heard our boss recruited a gym captain recently? Oh yeah, I did. What did... Oh, for a second I thought it was going to keep making me go back in like an infinite loop, but... Climbed up on the counter once and I... Uh, you will listen to our private conversation. Naughty, naughty. Wait, what? You want a battle? Okay. Alrighty then. I, mean, I don't have to use Infernape now because everyone's healed up, but... Uh, Lavani, let's go... Let's go chase. Because it's a little pop bug and just rock slide it. Very nice. And a Blissey. Uh, yeah, I'll stay in. I'll stay in. Whew, got the flinch as well. Sucks to be you, Blissey. Sucks to be you. And Rock Climb, okay. Uh, I'm getting rid of Rock Tomb. Don't need two Rock moves when you got, you know, one that's really good already. Got the Confusion, noise, and it hurt itself, and that should be you dead. Got a lot of XP for that, nice. Oh, and then you... Oh, my Arceus, kid, why are you interrupt? Because everyone in here was the battle, it seems. Alright. I don't mind. Uh, lantern, let's go leaks. Go for a nice leaf blade. Ooh. Oh, 49 and Absol. Yeah, we're staying. We'll try to get leaks to 50 right now. Metacham, yep. Just keep spamming that leaf blade. Leaf blade too good. Off oh, you land the next high jump kick, yeah. Oops. Uh, let's go. Whiz blind, Sabim. And Roselia, it will stay in. Oh, good. Quite a tough battle, to be fair. Uh, do I talk to you to get healed? Assistant. Job to help. Wait, what? What was that? What was that? As an automated assistant. Oh, okay. I was like, sort of like same sort of um, text that came up when we. Um, Met the ghost. Okay. So I'm want this guy counter wants to battle us. Which is absolutely fine. Like I said. Could do with the XP. Right, I'm assuming we're going to Amphros next. So we're just... Oh no, Persian. Okay. Let's go Leaks and get him to 50. Nice. And Illumise. Uh... Go chase, go for a nice rock slide. I really want to illamize on a Pokemon Go so bad. <laughs> Region exclusive though. And Lapani's gonna keep rock sliding. Agility, we should be alright, yeah. Good. I say I don't think you do too much damage to us. I know you can learn fighting moves, but we good. Wait, I think I go to the machine to heal up, don't I? Yeah. Did you see that? I think the maiden's having a seizure. <laughs> grubble, grubble. Uh, how again do you go about using this gosh darn thing of a bob? <laughs> Been through this, Gramps. You take out your Pokeballs and place them in the sockets like this. Okay. Don't really want to battle them guys, but... Oh, half puff. Do you have any idea how hard it was to get up here and the resort is full? <laughs> you enjoy yourself, dear. Just chilling in the uh, lake. While I'm here, let me buy some repels. Because, you know, I'm tired of. It's got a fair Pokemon of 30 to 50%. Okay, that's fine. Get some revives. Everything's cheaper, but, you know, it doesn't guarantee the best result. Oh, hello. Hello, Ari the pilot. That's me. You want to ride the balloon across the canyon? I sure do. This is cool. Just say, in real life, I would never, ever, ever get in a hot air balloon. I don't trust it. Like, why would you want to go really high in the air, just like, fire is just pushing a sheet of whatever it's made of in the air. It's hot air balloons, no. No. <laughs> never, ever, ever going to go on a hot air balloon. 
Up there, after the Dividing Cave, is the end of Route 105, followed by the Flowery Path, followed by the entrance to the one and only Silent City. I've had a long way for this one. Yeah, these routes have been brutal the past few episodes, but hello. Foltzy, where are you? The signal is weak. Can you pass above Route 105? That's good, Foltzy, because a terrible thing is happening in Saline City as we speak. Uh-oh. I'm on my way there, as well as a group of Pokemon Rangers from Mesmer City. But I think you should go there too. Foltzy, and quickly! Wait, what is happening? Another Berserk Pokemon appeared. There are already casualties in the Silent City. It's terrible. I think they're holding it off at Night Square right now, but Foltzy, there is something else. It called out your name, Foltzy. The police thought it was impossible, but then they heard it again, and again. I was on the line with them, and I knew immediately that I needed to phone you. What? That sounds ridiculous. But me and Moira did encounter a Berserk Pokemon earlier in the ruins. Professor? I'm so... You're losing... See? There. Hurry. Oh, damn. I like the sound of this. Better hurry to Silent City. Do you think maybe um, the professor who made the monster found out who we are and they just created this, like, evil-looking, like, Rapidash to, like, hunt us down, kill us? That's what I'm thinking's happened right now. Which sounds pretty awesome. Steelix? Uh, yeah, let's go for a nice close combat. Easy. Right, uh, strength puzzle, we have to. We have to push this, that's like the only option to really do. That was easy. Ooh! This is really nice. So we can't go that way at the moment because the logs are blocking the path, but... Oh, hi! Foolish little sister, you'll never catch up to me at this rate. Well, I'm not your little sister. Oh, the background looks beautiful. Love that. Okay. Krogunk, just gonna flame wheel. I should really do it for someone else, though, to be honest, but... Uh... Again, Sephora, I'm just gonna stay in. Oh, not anymore. Like, I don't understand why Smeagol is just so bad. There's, like, no damage. Even when, like, it was Pokemon he was stronger against, it just... It did nothing. It doesn't seem like a very strong Pokemon, which is very unfortunate. Alright. Maybe I'll replace him. I don't know. Don't want to replace him, but I feel like I might have to. Oh, got a nice Ultra Ball. That's Route 107. I like all the flowers just like... Well, I guess leaves just coming off the trees. It's really nice. The music is just like... This is such a, like, a nice pretty place compared to the desert. <laughs> You wouldn't, think, you wouldn't think a place like this would exist straight after a desert, but... I think so, the honey. Uh, I need to lead off with someone else as well. There's a lot of trainers. I think I might come back here if, like, maybe we can find a Dawnstone in... There's <gasps> a Megastone there. I'm gonna go try to get that. I found a lot of Megastones in this game, which is great. Got the confusion. Hurt yourself. Nope. Ominous Wind. Oh, okay, you're part normal. I did not know that. I thought you were just Grass-type, but... I was wrong. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to ominous wind against you, though. Just really want to know what like, light type super effective against. I've still no idea. Uh, I've really thought we're close to 50, but it's all good. Teddy Ursa. Why can't I have an Ursa ring? Give me more XP. Right. Okay, just want to get round. Sceptile, eh? Kind of wish our starter could Mega Evolve. Like, if they ever do a remake for Diamond and Pearl, I would not be mad if they did a re um, did Megas for the Sinnoh starters. I'm avoiding these battles because I, I want to maybe get a new team member. So I want to grind them up from these trainers a bit later on. There's an item just behind that tree. Full restore, sweet. So nice, Celine City, okay. That dude looks pretty cool. The music's a bit... Oh, is that Lolan Rat out there? Huh, maybe. But I'm gonna end this part here. Next episode, we're gonna find this, uh, this rampaging berserk Pokemon. 
Let's call our, our name, explore the city, maybe get the fifth gym badge, and it could be the final episode of this series. I'm hoping it's not. Um, I'm going to go and see if I can find maybe a new team member. I, I don't know yet. Um, at least do some grinding as well. But thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace.